So here's a quick demonstration of how we might create a film strip effect in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to start with the line tool. I'm just going to draw a single line from the top to the bottom of my document. And then I'm going to duplicate this whoops, by alt and dragging. And I've got one, two, three, four, which is fine. These two I want to align together. There we go. I'm going to group those, control G. And then these three. So I've got one, two, three, four. Let's just distribute them. There we go. And these two that are together, I'm now going to ungroup. And if I create one, sorry, if I select one, I'm just going to edit the stroke to make this as fat as possible. Let's make this, let's try 100. Whee, that's good. Even bigger than that. Uh, and I'm going to send that to the back. Arrange center back. Now the other second one, I'm going to make this uh, a white stroke. And again, let's make this quite fat, but not quite as fat as the previous one. So say 80, a bit too much maybe, 70. Okay, but to create the, the kind of celluloid appearance, I need to put a dash in here. So if I make a dash of say 50 points and then a gap of say six, that's good. I'll just increase that up to 10. Yep, happy with that. And then the two lines that we've got here either side, let's do the same thing. We'll make them white. Um, there we go, white. And again, let's change the stroke so that the stroke is dashed. Um, so let's make that say six point followed by a six point dash. So six, six. There we go. Smashing. So there's my film strip. I think I'd quite like to convert these, what are essentially single lines of different weights, I'd like to convert these all to objects. So I'm going to select all of these lines and convert them from stroked lines to actual rectangles, which I can do with object, uh, path, and then outline stroke. So it will take our very thick and thin strokes and convert them into the, the rectangle shapes that we've created. So there we go. So these now exist as um, just ungrouping them. These now exist as separate objects rather than a stroke line. So that's uh, good enough for starters, but the next thing that I'll do just to create a little bit of a ripple is to go to Object, um, Envelope Distort, and here I'm going to make with a warp. So I'm going to distort this with the warp tool. Whee! And it gives me an arc one, which I don't want. The one that I want is called flag, and I just need to change the direction of that warp. So there we go. And we can change the, the direction and the degree to which that warps. And we can also, if we want to, make the, um, give it some kind of perspective by adjusting the, the vertical and horizontal distortion. Actually, I quite like the zero distortion. So I'll just put that back to zero, zero. There we go. 